Global inequality has significantly increased since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020. Millions lost their jobs, while billionaires became richer. Tech giants in particular have profited hugely from the pandemic. Digital platforms now dominate everything in the modern world, from grocery shopping to applying for grants. To address some of the worst economic effects of COVID-19, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced a range of social assistance interventions in March 2020. This includes the 350 Rand per month COVID-19 Social Relief of Distress, SRD grant. In a time of crisis, South Africa's social grant system became even more important. More than 11 million South Africans depended on social grants for survival before the pandemic, and this increased upon the government's introduction of the SRD grant. The grant caters to unemployed South Africans between the age of 18 to 59, who received no prior assistance from the state. Thousands of people queued outside South African Social Security Agency SASA offices across the country. However, capacity constraints and social distancing requirements led SASA to seek out a digital application system. The COVID-19 SRD grant is a vital social initiative. But prior experience with SASA and digital platforms like NetOne indicates a need for greater scrutiny of SASA's digitalization of the SRD grant. Digital Profiteers Who Profits Next from Social Grants investigates the ways in which COVID-19 has been used to justify the rapid digitalization of the welfare state. SASA turned to three private partners to design online registration processes for the grant, GovChat, Vodacom, and ProSense. This uses WhatsApp, USSD, web, and email platforms, but GovChat's WhatsApp platform has become the most important. SASA boasts that these services were provided for free. Now, you might think, isn't that amazing? All of this for free? Does that sound too good to be true? We think so. Open Secrets investigates powerful corporations who exploit human rights and place profit over principle. We know nothing is ever mahala. If it's free, then you are the product. Just look at all the data mining by Facebook and Google that's made these corporations tech giants. GovChat and their financial backers, like Capital Appreciation, or CapBreak for short, have stepped in to manage the social relief of distress grant application process for 22% of the population through WhatsApp at no charge. Yes, you heard that right. Nothing. Nada. Nux. How is it that a private company offers its services for free without expecting some form of profit? Could this be a data play? Digital profiteers, large and small, are competing over a prize, your data. We call this a data play. The new frontier of capitalism is data profiteering. Private companies seek to access as much personal data from as many people as possible and to monetize that data. often without our consent. They exploit private information to generate massive profits while claiming it is all free. Most of this is unregulated, with states and regulators scrambling to keep up. It is important that digitalization of public services should not enrich digital profiteers at the expense of data privacy rights. Privacy rights are human rights. Social grant recipients have no choice but to hand over personal data to private corporations to access an essential state service. They are forced to submit themselves 
to greater surveillance to receive a grant they qualify for, opening the door for extensive surveillance by both the state and private actors. We have seen the dangers of these systems in the past in South Africa, where companies like NetOne and CPS abuse their control of the grant system. Other countries that have digitalized social welfare have faced the same consequences. So, it's all bad and we're doomed? Not exactly. Our investigation into GovChat and digital profiteers has led us to recommend the following to secure our privacy rights. One, companies and state agencies must be fully transparent about how the data gathered as part of a digital grant application process is collected, managed, and secured, and crucially, how it will be monetized. Two, digital and technological advancements provide significant possibilities and improvements to service. But these advantages are not guaranteed. Reducing data costs and ensuring all languages are accommodated is vital for this. Digital Profiteers, Who Profits Next from Social Grants is an open secrets investigation by Michael Marchant, Abby May, Dr. Aaron Torkelson, and Zen Marte. We have submitted the investigative report to the Protection of Public Information Commission. To the digital profiteers out there, we will be watching Pansy with the data play. There's still so much to do. If you think this work is important, support Open Secrets. Join us as we continue to badger those who seek to profit from human rights abuses. Visit opensecrets.org.za forward slash support. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at OpenSecretsZA. We're also on WhatsApp, so text hello to 072-565-0173 to receive all our latest updates. To send us a tip-off, you can email researcher at opensecrets.org.za or send us a text on Signal at 072-565-0173. Open Secrets. Power and Profit. Truth and Justice.